everyone. This is round two because I had my shirt on inside out and I wasn't showing that to the world. Just told the world, but I wasn't showing the world. Anyway, how are you all today? It's December the 20... I already looked at this twice. 23rd and we're on episode... On Vlogmas Day. I said episode last time too. Oh my goodness, Christ. Vlogmas day 21. So it is the night before the night before. Is that right? Yes. Here in Australia. In Australia. Um, let me tell you a bit about what's been going on. So I just watched. I got a yawn. So oh, I just watched. Um, a video, I like her, she's new to crochet channel, new crochet channel, she's not new to crochet. Her channel's called Her Vagabond Heart. So I want you to go over there, she doesn't know I'm chatting around, she might watch these, but um, go over there and have a look at her stuff. She does garments and she does them off her head, off her head, out of her head. And I want you to go over and have a look, please. Okay? Good job. Um, big day yesterday. Looked after the baby. Um, did some sh grocery shopping so we don't have to go out much. I have to remind Mr. T to order one of the presents. Oh, excuse me. It's terrible. So yesterday I had the baby and like I say she's not a baby but I call her my baby because it's the gentleman. I'm just going to clean my glasses. Anyway I had her and then I went shopping on the way home, came home <laughs> and I rung the boys, I call them the boys, Mr T and the son. I rung and he didn't, the boy didn't answer. And I thought, okay, well, he'll be ready for me. So I get home, <laughs> and there they are standing at the door waiting for to carry the groceries in. It was so lovely. So I didn't have to carry them in. And what else? So then last night, I'd been watching 9-11, which is, I think it's on, I can't never remember, Stan? No, maybe Disney. I can't remember. Anyway, it's about 9-11. And that was, that was good, but it was sad. And then I found this other thing called White House Farm. Now, if you hear White House, you automatically think, oh, it was British. But I thought, well, maybe the Brits are sending somebody over to deal with something in the States. You know, I don't know. Who knows? So I started watching has nothing to do with the States or the White House. It's White House Farm. It's a place, and if you're British, you probably know about it. Um, it's a house, a farmhouse, where five people got murdered. And one police officer keeps saying there's something wrong because they think it's murder suicide and he keeps saying there's something wrong there's something wrong there's something wrong and he keeps bringing it to his boss and his boss oh so says no 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 you're just you know playing detective or whatever anyway i get it's six episodes so i get halfway through episode five and i look at the time and it's 1 a.m and i'm like I had to switch it off. And he goes, aren't you, Mr. T goes, aren't you going to finish it? I said, it's one o'clock. I have to go to bed. I said, don't you hate it when that happens? And he goes, yeah, it happens to me with books. He gets suckered in and he's waiting for this thing to happen. And then it's three o'clock in the morning. So I had to, sorry. Oh, after this, I'm going to see if he wants to continue to watch it. If he doesn't, I'll finish watching it by myself. So I've been doing, watching that, and here is my new project. This hopefully will be finished by Christmas Day, because it's a gift for somebody for Christmas. 
Um, I had a sad episode of a project. The little green newborn preemie baby cardigan I made went to the big round stash buster in the sky. I don't know. I was trying to undo it to fix it and I snipped the wrong thing. And then I put it over near Mr. T and he goes, we'll just leave that there. And I said, leave, I'll leave that there for now. And he goes, yeah, get away from it for a bit. And then, oh, sorry. And then I just couldn't. I just couldn't. So I tried to fix it and it looked weird. So I went, it's got to go. I said, bless it. So Mr. T, bless. We're weird here. So he blessed it. And it's gone. I'm not devastated. I can fit and make another one. It's fine. The yarn maybe is a waste, but you know, these things happen. I've got plenty of time before the babies come, so I'm not too stressed. So that's that. So if I'm yawning more, it's this four babe. Oh, I was telling you about that. So I went to bed at one o'clock and then at three o'clock one of the dogs was barking so I got up and he wanted to go into the boy's room which is his dad. So he went in there, I went back to bed, got back to sleep. I thought it was 3.30, not 3. Four o'clock, another one starts barking so I get up and I thought he wants to go outside so I'm walking past the kitchen there he is in the kitchen. The water bowl's dry, and we're always filling it up. We always keep it full. It just, you know, sometimes it happens. So the kettle was cold, so I poured that in there and went back to bed. And then at 20 past 8, I woke up, and that was it. So there's a nap in the future of this person. And I read this thing on Facebook that Jesus took naps as well, so they must be okay. They're all good. I'm good with Jesus. I'm good with naps. So that's that's what's going on there. So that's why I'm yawning six times more than I should be. Mm, there's not much else progress on anything. I did do a couple of lines of journaling. What's going on there? Yesterday. Just, I can't remember what I said. That was Saturday. I was just tired. Big week. Big start of the week. Big start, Grace. And Saturday's Christmas, so it's a big week coming up. But when there's a baby that needs looking after, there's a baby that needs looking after. They've got, look at that. That's discombobulated, isn't it? Right. So, what else do I have to tell you? We're going to my daughter's for Christmas, which is lovely. Oh, sorry. They do a good job. And um, so we're going there. There'll be three of us going. My other son is going to his partner's for Christmas, his parent, her parents. I'm fine with that. Like I said in another vlog, I'm fine with that. I want them to enjoy Christmas and not feel like they're doing the wrong thing. So that's happening. Um, somebody said yes, though, they couldn't see my video. And if you ever do, don't apologise if, if I check and it's right. Like this person was saying, oh, I'm sorry, I was just trying to help. I know you're trying to help. I'm not. It's just it's working for me and I don't understand why it's not working for you. So 
Is there something wrong? I've had people say, Grace, we can't see your thing. You've aimed the camera wrong or whatever. So tell me, I, you know, why am I doing it if not to, um, for you to see it? Spotlight catalogue came. Spotlight is our big craft store. We only have one, which is sad. There's some yarn on sale. I wouldn't mind getting some of these. They're $4.20. These ones. But I'm not sure what they made it. I don't know if it's cotton or yarn. I, th I just think I'd like to try the thinner yarn. Try and make a cardigan with a thinner yarn. Karen cakes are 30% off. So I'm hoping, I know that um, one of the boys has given me some money for Christmas for yarn. Oh, so hopefully they'll have some good sales and I'll be able to get it. Well, Boxing Day is Sunday. Boxing Day is the day after Christmas, in case you don't know. And traditionally, I think traditionally, it's called Boxing Day because that's when you open the presents. Christmas was like the meal and all that sort of stuff, the celebration. Then you opened your gifts, you opened your boxes on Boxing Day. I think, don't quote me, research. Anyway, so Boxing Day... We usually have Boxing Day sales, but it's a Sunday, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know when. I'm hoping I can get some Boxing Day sales. I'll go in the afternoon. I don't mind going late, keeping away from all the crazies. We go to my sister's for the extended family, and that's really fun. Um, she puts on lunch, we see the family, and ding dong, the family, the extended family, which is nice, we just hang out, smooch all the babies, we've got my granddaughter, my niece's son, my nephew and her, his partner's son, Two girls that my nie other niece has and a little boy that my nephew and his partner has. And is that it? I think that's it. That's a good whack, isn't it? So, it's fun. It's fun. You always get to cuddle some baby. Not everyone comes, you know. Some people, like my, I think my brother-in-law works some Chris, um, boxing days because he's a nurse and um, not everyone comes, but it's good fun. So I still haven't taken my bag to my mother-in-law's. I was go, I was going to go yesterday, but then I spoke to my daughter and she's going today with the baby, so I didn't go. Oh, well, I dropped in there to drop something off, but I didn't go in because the baby was sleeping. The baby, she's two and a half. She comes out with this stuff. She's so clever. I know. I'm the nan and I'm supposed to say that, but it, other people say it too. They say it to me. So I think it's true. Anyway. So yesterday I asked and I didn't get any responses. Um, so I'm going to ask a question and I'd like some responses. I'm going to tell you mine so you know. So what is your favourite type, what is your favourite part of Christmas? And I think it's the lead up. I don't, I love the day, you know, don't get me wrong. I love spending time with the family. I love the food and everything else. Look at me, I love the food. But... I think it's the lead up, that excitement and um, when I could, when we could decorate, you know, put the Christmas tree up when the kids were little and things like that. 
and taking the granddaughter to the shops to see all the Christmas stuff. That's, I think that's for me is the best bit. You know, I bought her a little wind up thing and he hops along and it's a reindeer and she loved it. So just little things like that. I think it's the lead up, that excitement, the, um, uh, not the pressure of the presents or anything like that, but the excitement of, um, something new, something, you know. I changed my phone ringtone to a Christmas thing, I think December 1st. Um, I just think it's the excitement, yeah. So what about you guys? Is it the lead up? Is it the day? Is it the gifts? Obviously for me, it's the reason for the season. It's about Jesus' birth. But is that in your um, wheelhouse even? Do you guys, I'm not here to judge, you know. There's a lot of people that it's not in your wheelhouse. But is there is the reason for season in your wheel? Do you think about that? Is it about the gifts? Is it about family? What is Christmas about to you? I'd love to know. Um, there's no church service for us this year. It's on Boxing Day because Boxing Day is Sunday. And... I'm not sure. I'm hoping it's early, but I'm not sure. Because I'm not sure what time I have to be at my sister's. But anyway, depends who's running it, whether they need overheads as well. I think it's the last service for our minister. He's leaving, which is sad. So, pray that I get this finished. Oh, the other thing was, I didn't take an antihistamine yesterday. I'm better. I have to take one today, but that was really good. Um, so my shout out, not that I have a million people, but I wanted to shout out her vagabond heart. Go and have a look at her. She's really cool. Um, what else? The Christmas movies, I put them down below. It's what do we say? I love actually. And I lost Frozen Adventure. I watched that with my granddaughter the other day. Very good movie. It's not very long, but it, it's, it's beautiful. And um, if you need a good Christmas tradition, it's a good one to watch. Okay, I think that's all I've got. Um... Yes, I think that's all I've got. Tell me your favorite, your, why, what your favorite thing is about Christmas, and I will see you on Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve will be the last one, and um, depending on how busy we are, I don't think we'll be very busy. I think we'll just be at home. So I might put a couple of. I won't stop altogether for a week. Um, I know a lot of the bigger ones do, and I can understand that. They're, they're putting a lot of effort in. Not that I'm not, but I won't be stopping for a whole week. But then I see my family a lot, so depends how busy we get. If, if I'm in the car with Mr. T and we're driving somewhere, I'll get on and talk to you. Always happy to, after I've talked to Mr. T. Okay. Oh, I didn't show you. I had um, my friend and I, she's like my sister, well, an older sister. Um, she wanted to meet up and she gave me some gifts and this mug was one of them. Is that not beautiful? And also I got... How am I supposed to eat that? A G in Belgian chocolate. Anyway, that's really nice. What I could do is put hot milk in here and then chop off a bit of that and put that in. Oh, but I have to be careful I didn't baptise anything in it. It's so pretty. Look.
So pretty. All right. I blabbed on for 20 minutes. I hope you enjoyed that. I will talk to you all again tomorrow. And like I said, I won't disappear for a week. Like, I don't have any plans to anyway. So, so I'll be back. I'll be back. Don't forget to be who you create to be. Bye.